this mall here, this power plant mall, I've only been here for five minutes and no other mall, in my opinion, is decorated this well for Christmas. Man, I'm telling you, I would love to have this every day with coffee if I was drinking coffee every day. And honestly, I would even put some jam on it. Maybe this isn't really the area to be in, I guess. I don't know. All right, guys, I've just arrived to a new area here in Metro Manila that I haven't been yet, a place that you guys have all been telling me to visit. That is here. That is the Power Plant Mall. Now, I've heard of the Power Plant Mall. I'm not too sure on this area. Is this area Poblacion? Oh, taxis. Is this area Poblacion or where is it? I'm not really sure, but I just took a moto taxi to get here. A very enjoyable ride as uh, the weather is not so bad yet. But as you can see, Power Plant Mall is there. We're gonna go inside. But I just wanna tell you guys, wow, these condos that are next to here, very, very beautiful. There are definitely some nice condos or apartments, I believe, so those would be nice to live in as it looks over the river and parts of the city. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a skyline in the distance over here. I'm not really sure which way that goes towards. Maybe that's Mandaluyong or however you pronounce it. But then you have some more nice big tall buildings here. All right, guys, I just made it inside here to the power plant mall and the entrance. Wow, this is very, very beautiful. Just like the other malls, as I said, this one has a lot of Christmas decor, a lot of gold, as you can see. There's a very tall gold Christmas tree behind me. But I want to point out that they have these nice cars here. It's a Land Rover. Um, they must be advertising to see if somebody wants to buy them, but they look like a very nice off-road vehicle. I don't know. Maybe it's good in the Philippines, I'm not sure, but I can imagine driving this through like a desert country. But look at it, it looks so beautiful. I don't know what that is there. Probably some sort of storage. But man, that looks really nice. I wonder how much it is. I don't know if they have a price on it or not. I'm not seeing any sort of um, pricing on this, so I guess these cars don't have a price tag. You gotta ask about it. This is actually pretty cool to see some cars advertised on the floor here. I think this is the first mall other than the Mall of Asia where I've seen them advertising cars. In Mall of Asia, I've seen that they have sometimes sports cars, but very, very cool. But check out these reindeers that are moving. Well, in terms of malls here in Metro Manila, I have been to quite a few. I've been to Mall of Asia, I've been to the malls around Makati, I've been to the malls around BGC, I've been to the mall um, in Ortigas, SM Mega Mall. So I feel like I've been to quite a bit of malls. And out here at the Power Plant Mall, it's so interesting because I have not seen a mall like this one yet. This one is unique in its own way. Oh, I have also been to the Venice Grand Canal Mall, which if you want to see that video, you should check it out. It's on my other channel. But this mall here, this power plant mall, I've only been here for five minutes and no other mall, in my opinion, is decorated this well for Christmas. In terms of the Christmas season, they have really outdid themselves here. It's not over the top, it's just perfect and it really makes you feel like you're in that Christmas season, that winter wonderland with how there is uh, archways and all the decorations, the green, there's some palm trees in here too, which is interesting. You have pine cones, it's just perfect. What I think I'm gonna do is, I'm kind of feeling a coffee. I haven't had one in a few days, so I think I'm gonna try to find a coffee in here, maybe sit down, get some caffeine, get some energy, and uh, really absorb this mall because it is just, I'm stunned, I'm definitely stunned. There is no mall here in Metro Manila that I think is well decorated like this one. But I don't know where there would be some coffee shops. I see some restaurants on the bottom floor, but they look like more restaurants. I'm looking for like a cafe. So let's see over here. Oh, look at that, a Krispy Kreme. Ooh. Let's stay away from there. We already had that. Here we go, the coffee bean and tea and leaf. I guess I stopped into here at the coffee bean tea and leaf I've done before. Just got a nice iced Americano for 155 pesos, which is, you know, on the cheaper end for getting coffee, I think here in Metro Manila, from my experience, cheaper than Starbucks. But I just wanna say, I came into here and they gave me this thing. It's a holiday card, so you get stamps. 
You have to get 20 stamps by January 7th to receive a free drink or these free like tumblers that they have here. That's a lot of coffee uh, in between now and January 7th for me to be buying out. So I probably won't be filling this, but if you're a person who's buying coffee out all the time, you can definitely fill this up very quickly and get a free gift. So it's pretty cool that they have that. It's kind of like how they have at Starbucks. You can get some rewards and stuff. But this little uh, cafe here in the mall is actually very nice on the top floor, right next to, I think it's a movie theater here. And uh, I'm gonna chill out and drink some coffee. Now the interesting thing about these cups is they give you this little like spout that you just open. And then they give you a straw to put in it and drink it. But I don't like drinking coffee with straws too much because I think it makes you drink the coffee too fast. So I prefer just to sip it. Oh, that's pretty good. All right guys, I just finished up my coffee. Feel super energized. And now I've just come over here to this uh, open center area. Actually, this is like the top floor here, but down there is the entrance. And as you can see, that's where the Christmas tree is. That's where the two cars are. Very, very beautiful view from up here. But I want to say there's also sometimes like these rocking chairs just put into places and people are just chilling. It's pretty cool because normally in the mall, I feel like you just see benches or regular straight chairs. And here they have rocking chairs and there's a few people sitting in them and relaxing, listening to the Christmas music in the background and just watching people walk by. But now that I'm caffeinated, I think what I'm gonna do is walk around the top floor a little bit more, go down to the other floor, see what else there is. Maybe even to the bottom, maybe there's some food down there. I'll see what kind of food they have. Maybe I'll get some food, I don't know. But one of the things I want to do around this mall is go outside near the river. See what it is like out there because the river kind of wraps around this area, right where those condos are that I showed you in the beginning. So we're gonna work our way down and then get outside. All right guys, well I'm heading all the way down to the bottom floor now, but I want to just point out these escalators here, the way that they're designed, how they have like a wood structure underneath with the lights. It's super, super beautiful, beautiful beautiful unlike any sort of escalator design i have seen before and then there's lights on top which are very nice as well but anyways here we are at almost the bottom floor because as you can see there's like one more floor there's parking down there all right well it turns out this is the bottom floor underneath this is just parking but behind me you have some places like mcdonald's you have Dunkin' Donuts, I didn't see a Jollibee, maybe down here where the rest of the restaurants are, but I want to walk through where the restaurants are and see what that is like. Well guys, I didn't even realize it, but there's a whole other side to this mall, this power plant mall that I didn't know was here, just around the corner. It's inside, it's connected right where the main entrance is. You just kind of come in and you go left and then it brings you around this side. There was that famous, uh, was it Din Tai Fung, the dumpling spot. But also I wanted to say at the bottom of the mall, there was the Jollibee I saw. No Filipino mall is complete without a Jollibee, of course but lots of restaurants down there, lots of good ones too. A lot of cookie shops. That was a really, really cool mall, the power plant mall here. I want to say I saw another restaurant downstairs called Roasters. It looked really, really appetizing. Some, uh, what is it, grilled chicken or uh, roasted chicken? Man, I'll have to check out that place one time, but there's a lot of like fine dining, fancy dining. And to be honest, I think this mall is probably the nicest mall I've seen in terms of the quality of how it is made and all the things in there. But definitely a cool mall here in Metro Manila, so you should check it out if you haven't been there. And for the Christmas season, it is really going off in there. And now I've come outside, and honestly, the weather is not looking too promising in one area. On one side, you have sunny skies. On the other side, you have very gray, dark skies. I'm hoping it doesn't rain, as I did not bring my umbrella today. And behind me, it looks like they're building a Christmas tree. Or maybe it's already built. It's just not lit up because it's daytime, so I guess it lights up during the night. But a lot of Christmas vibes in this area. And I also want to mention that I'm not sure if that entrance I went into the power plant mall, if that is the main entrance or not, because it doesn't look too fancy or too grand like some of the other mall entrances. Hello. But now I'm trying to make my way to the river. 
and I don't know if I'm going the right way. This looks like a dead end. Is this the way to the river or not? I guess we'll find out. Turns out that was a dead end, so I'm actually going the wrong way. I gotta go back this way, past the power plant mall, as you can see here on the right side of me, and then kind of just wrap around the road to the main road down there and then to the river. And I just wanna go to the river and see. What is river like over here? Is there anything to do? Maybe there's some food, kind of hungry. So maybe I get some food if there's something over there, something local. Wasn't really feeling one of them fancy restaurants to sit down and have a full course meal, but we're gonna find out over here. All right, here we are at the main road. As you can see, the river is just there across the street. And whoa, there's a fancy building on the other side with like a huge apartment complex or something. Let's go over there and see what it is like. Just gotta get across this road without getting a hit. No crosswalk here. Okay, I think we go for it here. Just like that, there we go. Well, to be honest guys, this river looks a little dead. The water is a bit mucky and there's not a whole lot going on over here. So maybe this isn't really the area to be in, I guess. I don't know. One thing I want to point out is that that building behind me, that's impressive, whatever it is. It looks really different than any building I've ever seen. There's like a gym right there. I can see people running on treadmills. But then this building behind it says it's the Novotel Suites. Is that a hotel or is that an apartment complex? I'm not really sure, but it's definitely a massive uh, construction here with maybe rooms or residences. But this river, not much going on. There's some graffiti along it, which you can see better if I guess you're on the other side. Can't really see it that well from here. But yeah, not a whole lot kind of dead. Also right now it's like two o'clock in the afternoon so that could be why. But as you can tell in the background over there, nice skyline view. I think that is maybe going towards, what, GGC maybe? I don't know, I could be totally wrong. Wow, this street is insanely noisy with the jeepneys and the big trucks. As you can see, not a place to be filming I guess, a little too noisy. Well, I've decided to make a little change of plans. I'm gonna get away from the river as it doesn't seem like much is happening and go back towards the mall right here. Again, is the power plant mall. And it looks like there's a road that goes to the side of it with some stuff. So I'm gonna go to the other side of the mall and see what else there is over here. Maybe it's a better area to be. I don't know, we'll find out. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all I did was turn the corner here and it looks like they have part of the road blocked off for a restaurant. Not sure what restaurant this is. But that's cool, probably in the evening time. I mean, now is the afternoon. No one's really out here, but this is probably a nice place to dine. Barcino, wine resta bar. Resta bar. Oh yeah, I'm guessing it's an Italian restaurant and gelato place has a gelato right there. But yeah, so there's some outdoor dining here. And even more dining on this sign. You have a restaurant called Tepan Okochi something. Well, I could definitely tell that there's a lot of money in this area with the condos on one side. But look at that, whoa, an old Mustang just passed by. Just before that, I didn't get it on camera, but a Lamborghini SUV passed by as well, which I don't really see too many of these fancy cars around here. But I guess this is an area where there is some money. Maybe of the local people, of the expats, the retirees and stuff. Very, very nice area. And I'm surprised I never made it here before because before I came pretty close to the Poblacion area on my last visit to the Philippines. I didn't quite get over into this area and I believe this is Poblacion, but I could be totally wrong and I could be pronouncing it wrong as I usually pronounce all the names wrong. Well, it turns out I made the right decision by leaving the river and coming back here to the power plant mall. I came to the backside, which appears to be the main entrance, I think. And they have a food festival going on right now called Namit Namit or Namit Namit but I just hopped in there and grabbed something because they're playing a lot of loud music, a lot of copyright music, so I definitely can't film and talk in there really. So instead I just grabbed something from this little stand they have that has um, artisan piaya, and the lady tried to tell me where it's from. She, I thought she said Bohol, but maybe I was mistaken, but they had a couple different options and they had one with peanut, and she let me try a few of them, which was very nice. So I got this one for 35 pesos. This one has peanuts in it and it looks really, really delicious. So excited to have something to eat, something small right now. But as you can see, that's what it looks like. And it looks delicious. My mouth is watering thinking about it. 
I wish I had this with my coffee earlier. I should have brought my coffee out here and ate it, but here we go. Mm. It's dry, but that's how like, you know, peanut things are. A lot of people don't like peanuts, but for me, growing up in the US, I ate peanuts my whole life, peanut butter, and it's one of my favorite things. Mm. It's super, super delicious. Man, I'm telling you, I would love to have this every day with coffee if I was drinking coffee every day. It's a bit dry, but that's all right. That coffee will help you wash it down. And honestly, I would even put some jam on it. Make it like a PB&J kind of. That would make it even better. 35 pesos, you can't go wrong. This little food festival though has all sorts of different little stands selling different things, different local food from the Philippines in different places. You can drink here. It's a nice little area out here that's grassed kind of. It has this like fake grass. There's a huge Christmas tree, many tables. It's cool, there's fans, there's misters. This is a really nice area to hang out outside of the mall, especially when the sun's not scorching. Like now there's a lot of clouds and there's some tree cover, so it feels pretty cool. All right guys, well that's gonna be it for this video here, exploring the Power Plant Mall in Metro Manila. Another mall that I get to see, and this mall is definitely very impressive. Super beautiful, well designed, well created, well built, and I think it might be one of my favorite malls. Uh, top two, top three, you know, Mall of Asia, this mall, and SM Mega Mall so far. But if you haven't been to this mall, you should definitely check it out, especially during the Christmas season because the decorations are very beautiful, a lot of restaurants, and you can spend a few hours here just hanging out. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. It helps with the algorithm. Leave a comment down below what you thought. Maybe help me out with some of the things I may have missed in the video. But other than that, that's it. And I will see you guys soon from another video here in Metro Manila. So peace out, guys.